up, people? How you doing today? Welcome to the Sam Simpson Show, Relationship Hour. Good afternoon to you. Good morning to you. Whatever time of the world that you're in and you're watching us. Uh, what's up, Kenya Brown? How you doing today? You doing good? I'm good. All right, man. We're going to get in and help out, help out, help out, help out someone with this situation uh, today. So we got we to gotta get in here and uh, help out this bro. What are you talking about? All right. He said, Dear Sam, I met this young lady at a coffee shop. She was very nice looking. Had a great conversation, seemed to be very sweet and single, so yeah. I asked her out on a date. Yeah. The first date went perfect, so mm -hmm. I asked her out on another, mm -hmm. then another. Mm -hmm. She made me feel like we were in high school like we were high school kids because we could just talk for hours. Uh -huh. The bombshell dropped on the telephone after our fourth date. Uh -huh. I told her that I was really digging her, that she might be the one. She said she felt the same way about me, but she was two months pregnant. Yeah. Damn. She said she made a stupid mistake and had a one-night stand that resulted in her being pregnant. She has no intentions of being with the dude. As a matter of fact, he doesn't even know that she is pregnant. She said she didn't believe in abortions, so her intentions were just to raise the child alone. I really like her, but is it crazy to be catching feelings for a woman that is pregnant with another guy's baby? How would you handle this? Thank you in advance. It can work. It can work. It can work. It can work. If you want it to work, it can work. She was out of enough to tell you. She didn't have to tell you. She told you what was up. The only thing that I would ask her is, how come you're not going to tell that man? Can you get in contact with Absolutely. the man that you, because, you know, uh, that's the part of the drama um, well, it might not be any drama, but that's the part you need to take care of so there's no drama there, in my opinion. I would I would make sure that that is addressed. Then proceed or decide if you want to proceed because at the end of the day, he is the father. She if She's choosing not to have the abortion. She's choosing to carry. I think that she owes it to that man to tell him that she has, that they have a child on the way. Yes, that was what I was thinking, too. So you got, you got to do that, fam. What you got to say about it? Yeah. Yeah. You just have to. I, I agree because that's what I was thinking about, that the guy didn't even know that she was pregnant, yeah. but you can't do that. Yeah, you can't you can't you can't just move on without that's not fair. It's not fair to the child, it's not fair to the man, even though it was a one night stand. You can't you can't discredit him because it was it was a one night stand. You had a one night stand too. Right. So you can't be like, oh, you know, yeah, I'm going on my life. Yeah, that's all fine. And Danny, you can still do that. But the man needs to know and have the opportunity to be a father. Um, and then the question you need to ask yourself, homie, is do you want to be a father to another man's child? Every man can't do that. Every man is not built for that. Um uh, you see it a lot of times. Men mistreat kids or don't know, you know, yes. they feel some type of way. So uh that's that's what I would say. What's up, Barbara? What's up, Judy? How y'all doing today? But maybe he'll feel differently mm -hmm. um, because the baby, he'll be there the whole time mm -hmm. during the doctor's visits and when she how has you know? the baby. See, you, see how, you see this dude, dude who, who wrote this? Do you want to go to doctor visits? Do you want to be there for this woman? Well, I mean, at least he'll be the only male figure around yeah, yeah. unless when she tells the father, he decides to yeah. pop back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Mm. Mickey said, don't rush. Take your time mm -hmm. and allow things to be natural. If it's meant, you would never think of it as another man's child. Mm -hmm. It is a life that needs to be loved. You are yeah. someone's child, too. Love and life will never be perfect, but build something that is perfect for you. Yeah. That's really nice. Uh, Kim said, she liked one night stands. I'd rethink her. You were lucky to get four dates. Be careful, dude. She sounds like a bopper. <laughs> <laughs> Our listeners. Uh, Tanya said, I know someone personally that dated a woman who was pregnant with another man's child, and she had five other children. He had two of his own as well. They went on to have a child of their own together. They married and lived happily for 35-plus years until her untimely death. It can be done. If there is real love, that man still that man still loves all of us today. He's my dad. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh. Oh, Tanya. I'm about to let it tear down my eye. No, that but was not, that's touching, a, though. Yeah, that, that really was. I mean, so you need to take, what's her name, Tanya? Tanya. 
Tanya. You need yeah. to take what Tanya had to say because I should I should earlier that um, I had a, I had a friend. Um, that's how him and his his lady his wife met, mm-hmm. and that was years ago. And they have wonderful family, <laughs> so it's it's up to you. Yeah. And uh, the only thing I would get clarity on is what's up with this baby daddy. Tell him. Mm-hmm. He doesn't seem very opposed to the thought of raising another child because he's asking a question. He didn't yeah. just uh, cut and run. Yeah. Uh, Barbara said, get out now. That man should move <laughs> on. This sounds like drama. Our buddy Steve. Let's see. What Steve. up, Steve? What Steve got to say about <laughs> this one? Are you seriously asking for advice, Urkel? Let's unpack the fact that while you've been paying for dates and holding hands in the park like uh, high school kids, this chick has been smashing other dudes on the first night. Oh, wow. <laughs> you, you know how many people have... Uh, go, ahead, go, ahead, go ahead. If the fact that she sees you as a lame who has to wait to smash doesn't tell you to run, think about how you'll be paying for someone else's mistake for the next 18 years. E-40 made a so- song about you in the 90s, Captain save a Ho. Dang, Steve. So rough. Well, some need to be saved. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't don't single people have uh, one night stand? You might be out. Yeah, I, I hate when people... They, here's my whole thing. Just because somebody waits to give you, give someone sex does not make them a responsible person does not make them a whore. You can have a man or woman can make you wait on purpose mm-hmm. just to seem like they ain't no hoe. But I'm just being real. Did you have some people who practice and have no problem getting down on the first date? That's their MO. That's what they do. Right. They not ashamed. Right. But you do have some people that, that had the oops thing happen. Yeah. So don't be fronting. People had, had, listen, men who think that you got the perfect woman, those be the ones that done some sneaky, sneaky, freaky stuff with some guys Mm. that you just don't know nothing about. You don't know. You just don't know. Right. She's just making you wait. Yeah. She made, Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. She she had a one-night stand with with Reggie. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Or, 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 you know, with with some, some old just... Yeah. D- yeah. Them. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Tell me, yeah, Sam. You know. Mm-hmm. Straight up. Head her on a you, you remember in, in Jason's lyric when Tretch had sex with the girl on the side of the house? Mm-hmm. Some of y'all wives and done that with somebody. Ooh. Or your girlfriend. You just don't know. Starting mess. No, I'm just being real. <laughs> At least she was honest. She didn't have to tell him she had a one night stand. She told him and she, she didn't did. have to do that because she probably felt like I ain't got nothing else to lose. Right. And she owned up to it. I mean, yeah. she could have said, hey, this was a mistake. I don't really know this guy, so yeah. I'm going to abort the baby. She at least yeah. had a heart and said, hey, I'm going to try this out. And then going back, if some of y'all women would have known some of the, the women that your current man is with, I mean, that you're with now, that he that he got back in the day, Preach. you wouldn't even want to give him none. Tell it. You know what? Am I am, am I keeping it real today? Absolutely. All the way 100. You're like, you did? You did, huh? Right. Well. <laughs> uh, Cinnalyn, I hope I'm saying your name right, um, Wyatt said, why is she raw dogging with a one-night stand? Now, let me just address this real quick. Address it, please. Because a couple people have mentioned the the one-night stand thing. Women, you don't know all the time if guys slip and take off Uh a condom. You might think you were being safe at the beginning, but, you know, you turn around, something else might happen. And what is it called? What do they call that thing that they was doing, uh, putting a condom on and taking it off? Yes. What is that called again? I forgot. I didn't know if there was a term for it. Yes, a term for it. Yeah. Someone tell us in the feed about the term. Uh, Sam Soup Show, <laughs> turn your radio down, please. Oh, yeah, Sam. I just go out the other room. Well, yeah, Sam. My uncle, God rest his soul, uh, he got with this woman that he was really digging on, and she was a l- little bit like four or five months pregnant. They got married. He didn't mind that woman's uh, extra package with him. You know, 
He loved her, and he took the responsibility of it. If he really digging on, if they really digging on each other, it should not make a difference. Yeah. You know, if they really, really digging on each other, it should not make a difference. If he want to be the man for her and she want to be the one for him, should not make a difference. If he going to step up, step up to the plate and hit a home run. You never know what you're going to get. Right. A surprise in life. All right, homie. Sam Suk Show. Sam Suk Show. I hung up on people. I'm sorry. Uh, 888-409-0931. 888-409-0931. Welcome to the show. Hello. Nah, man. She's too self-absorbed and irresponsible. <laughs> At minimal, at yeah. minimal, she should have been talking about at least taking some time at some point after this baby is born to find out what kind of person the dad, the biological father is, the type of family he came from, and to what degree they might want to contribute to the well-being of the child that she's coming forward. In addition to that, she needs to know some things about him just to um, be conscious of what type of um, pregnancy she's going to be able to go forward through go forward with and now she's talking she's got to do that she's digging and just because she acknowledged that she did something and none of other things that i just mentioned he thinking maybe and she's thinking maybe nah she too self-absorbed and selfish left leave that chick alone all right thanks for the call sam suits you hello hey sam i just want to i have a couple of questions before i respond on that question you had out there yeah how long have the two people been dating they said, hold on, what did the letter say here? Uh, wait, they went on four dates. They've been on four dates. I mean, did she have the one night stand while they were dating? No. Or what, did uh -uh. it happen before they started dating? No, uh, she's two before. months pregnant. Yeah. Okay. So they weren't dating while she was. No, okay. no, no. Well, if he really loves her uh -huh. and want to, you know, want this to work, uh -huh. why not? It seems like she has no, uh, no desire to get back with the baby's daddy. He well, should just work it out with her. Let me let me do let me say this. I y'all y'all to hear me say this on the radio. Okay. I said this on Facebook. Okay. Uh, okay. And hello to everybody watching live on Facebook. I I would be concerned that I would want her to tell him so that that's no unexpected drama. I feel that a man needs to know that he has a child on the way. So I would want her to tell the man who she had the one I stand with, if she can get in contact with him, hopefully she could. Uh, that'd really be bad if you don't even right, know what the hell right. the dude is. Right. Uh, to tell him that he has a child on the way. He needs to weigh his options. D is he willing to deal with possible drama of this guy, of the daddy, of the father? He I agree with you. Yeah. I agree with you 100%. 100%. Um, but if he really likes this young lady, yes, sir. you know, you know, make sure all the cards are on the table. Tell the baby daddy that she's pregnant. Yep. They can decide if he wants to be in the life or not. But yeah. his thing is he wants to get to know this young lady a little better. Yeah. But I agree with you. Put the cards out on the table. Yep. The, I, the real dad needs to know. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. We agree with each other. We, we own it. <laughs> I, I think we helped him out, man. Yeah. I was just hoping that she could have a one night stand while they were still dating on three and four days. Right, 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 right. All so, right, man, have a good one. All right, no doubt, you too. Uh, same soup show. Hello. Hi. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I would cool. like, I would like to share a different perspective. Please. So, um, good afternoon, everyone. Peace, blessings, love, and prosperity and abundance. Um, one, uh, Sam, I think I've always acknowledged. Um, your leadership and, and, you know, just just how you continue to just um, allow us to have a platform where we can be candid with each other. With that being said, um, if I could just paint a picture. A lot of the times we get so caught up with labels and when we identify behaviors as to how we want something instant, like instant gratification, our behaviors go into sexual behaviors, you know, drugs, alcohol, different things that we're doing, you know, for stress, stress relievers or recreation. When we connect with someone, right, depending on that individual, this is really going to determine on that individual. I worked in public health for like 15 years in HIV prevention in particular. And one thing that I do know for a fact is that we put so much shame on a behavior that really, um, like we've heard different people say how they met someone, how they became, you know, um, were able to do what they, what we do as human beings. And that is either 
procreate or, you know, use it for recreation, whatever that is. Um, a lot of the times we'll say, okay, we were saved, we wore, you know, a condom. And whether it was six months or a year until we feel comfortable to establish trust. But we don't take that same, uh, let's say, uh, we don't place value on that relationship because when the condoms come off, there's nobody going to the clinic to do a screening to say, okay, we're taking the condoms off and let's make sure that our past experiences, you know, may be something went under the radar, right? Mm -hmm. Because in prevention, <laughs> when we do a lot of education, we've had to literally do that education. Um, and a lot of people don't properly know how to use a condom. A lot of people, because they were, you know, uh, using a condom, when they took off the condom, they never went and got screened for anything. And so you get people that have been with one partner for 20, 30 years, and they never took an HIV test and find out that they're HIV positive at 60. So at the end of the day, as long as we can remove the shame of sex, we can talk about something that's so beautiful and natural with whoever you're having that. Um, again, so many things are going on in society that a lot of the times when we're looking for those coping mechanisms to find comfort in something, mm -hmm. um, we fail to get to know each other in a way where we're confident that if we make a decision with ourselves and with our body, it's going to be the most beautiful experience you can ever have. Um, a lot of the times it takes, you know, most emotional maturity. There's a lot of people that, I mean, we, we know the, the, the sex parties that go on <laughs> that people don't talk about. Um, we know a lot of things that happen, you know, again, yeah. that people don't want to talk about because it's easier to put a label or judgment or point the finger um, when we should just really embrace who we are, understand that our behaviors affect us. Yeah. Um, and. There's so many things that come with that. I mean, we use hand sanitizer for everything to, you know, prevent the infection, chain infection. So, of, so, of it, it, right? It, it, when right. you have oral sex, when you have oral sex, you're putting your mouth on those same areas yeah. that you don't have any type of protection for. Yeah, you, you, so you don't, you don't, you don't put the hand sanitizer on that, huh? <laughs> I mean, I'm just, we just have to keep it real with ourselves. We hope we can keep it real with anybody. Else. Right, right, right. Good stuff, good stuff, man. Appreciate your call and your perspective. And uh, uh, the gentleman who sent this in, and not just him, hopefully everybody uh, got the point that you were making, Queen. All right? Yes. All right, appreciate you. you all the time, all the time. Yep. Uh, What's up? Steve did answer, and what he Steve said, said that it's called stealthing. That's it. That's what I said. They take, they, they trick, they put the condom on, and then they, oh, I got a condom on, and then they take it off. So it's called stealthy. Yes. And then many women have become pregnant because of that. Yeah, they trick you. They want to they wanna feel the real deal. Well, listen, they have condoms. Since she, she talked about that, mm -hmm. I want to bring this up, okay? All right. I probably brought it up on in the past on the show. It's very important that you take the time to enjoy, uh, figure out what type of condom you like, what type of condom you enjoy. Uh, because some of these condoms, and what, what, what condoms are the best? Because some of these condoms, you always tell me, they make this one, this, the thin one, this is that right. one. It may not be comfortable to her because she may be, uh, uh, some women are sensitive down there. To latex. To yeah. latex. So you have to, you, you, and ladies, I'm saying this for ladies too, you need to know. It's okay to say what type of condom that you like. Uh, and you prefer it's okay to have the condom that you like that you know your your JJ accepts. But don't you don't okay when you were single? Do mm -hmm. you feel that you would have judged a woman if she, you know, you got in a situation, you went to her house, and she mm -hmm. was like, "Bam." Okay, at a, at when 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 I first when in my in my young day, I w I thought that a little bit, but I got over that. I was like, "Oh, cool." Okay. Because at least she like, bam, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, and then that way, because young young cats back in the 90s mm -hmm. wouldn't take one on purpose or just wouldn't take one. Really? I don't get no comment. I'm, I'm just going to go. And so I hear guys just said all the time. In, in, in the 90s, in the 80s, folks were just having sex. 
Right. There's too many types of condoms and ways to show you how to use condoms because a lot of men were not teaching boys. They just give them, but I, hey, this ain't, this is what you do. Put it on. No, you have to talk to your sons and say, son, this is how you put on a condom. But how do you practice practice if it's not in real time? Because you don't really know True. unless you put it through the, through the test. What, what you do is, I would say this, as a man, I would say, son, do not be so nervous to feel like you're going to lose your erection. Mm. Um, putting on a condom, thinking like you're going to lose, you got to hurry up and get it. No, take your time. She's going to be there. Yeah. See, these are conversations that they that they didn't have back in the day. They, you don't have sex, you're going to hell. That was it. So you need to talk to young men based upon your experience because, you know, just like when my, I remember when I told my son, we got to hurry up and go. I remember I told my son about wet dreams. Mm. I said, son, when you uh, one day you're going to wake up and you're going to have this dream, mm -hmm. and you're going to wake up, and your bed and your drawers going to be a certain type of way. Right. And, and he was like, what you mean? I said, when that happens, know that you can talk to your daddy and know that that's normal. I'm going to tell you because the first time I had a wet dream, I, I rushed up, uh, uh, took my drawers, washed them. I was embarrassed. Right. Dried, and I had another one the next day. Then I would go to bed waiting to have them because that would be about <laughs> these women I never knew. These women I didn't even know. But I had a dream uh, 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 about, you know, my time is running. I'm trying to rush. My time is running out. But but no one was able to talk to me and to teach me about that. I had to learn on my own. I messed up so many draws. <laughs> trying to hide them from my mama saying my draws with all this. She knew all that extra laundry right. <laughs> that you were doing wasn't right. So you have to have a talk with young men about how to use a condom on what may happen. Yes. Well, this might break. Or well, don't be keeping condoms in your pocket forever. Because oh, yeah. then they dry out. Down. Then they, they not good no more. Mm -hmm. uh, and so take your time. You know, some kids, some some boys, they play with themselves. So if you're going to do that, do it with the condom. Yes. Practice how you put it on. Yeah. And you may not want to hear that, but that's true. Yeah. Why are you in the bathroom, son? Put it on. Practice. Practice. Makes perfect. <laughs>